Hello and welcome to Sumo Logic's tutorial on collecting logs from Azure Block Blob Storage. Logs and metrics for most Azure services can be exported to an Azure Storage account as Block Blobs. Sumo Logic's Azure Block Blob Storage solution provides an event-based pipeline for shipping monitoring data from storage to an HTTP source on Sumo Logic. This solution can be helpful for monitoring Azure services that do not support exporting logs to Azure Monitor, for instance Azure Network Watcher. This video will describe the Azure to Sumo event-based pipeline that Sumo Logic creates to ship the available logs from Azure Block Blob Storage to an HTTP source on a hosted collector in Sumo Logic. This video will also explain the Azure Resource Management or ARM template that you can use to build most of the components in the pipeline. Sumo Logic has created an Azure to Sumo pipeline for Azure log collection from Azure Blob Storage. The available logs from Azure Block Blob Storage are shipped to an event hub and then onto an Azure function, and finally to an HTTP source on a hosted collector in Sumo Logic. Let's look at the individual components of the pipeline. The Azure to Sumo pipeline contains an Azure Event Grid that allows for uniform event consumption. Azure Event Hubs, data streaming platforms that process millions of events per second. Sumo provided Azure Functions, small pieces of code that are triggered by an event hub to send monitoring data to a Sumo HTTP source. The Sumo HTTP source on a hosted collector receives the monitoring data from the task consumer Azure function. Azure Blob Storage is Microsoft's object storage solution for the cloud, optimized for storing large amounts of unstructured data. The Azure Service Bus Queue is a generic cloud-based one-directional messaging system for connecting resources, whether applications, services, or devices, regardless of location. Let's now see how the various components are stitched together in the pipeline. Azure services send the monitoring data, such as logs and metrics, to Azure Blob containers in a storage account. An event subscription is configured with an Azure Blob container as the publisher and an event hub as the subscriber. The event grid then routes all of the create block events to the event hub. On the receipt of data from the event grid, an event hub triggers its Azure function named task producer to create a task. This is a JSON object that includes the start and end byte of the block blob. These tasks are then pushed to the Azure Service Bus Queue. Another Azure function named task consumer is triggered in response to a new task in the Azure Service Bus Queue. This function reads the data in the given range, that is from the start byte to the end byte then transforms the data and sends it to an HTTP source on a hosted collector in Sumo Logic. Each of the three Azure functions sends their logs to storage accounts created by an Azure Resource Management or ARM template. The storage accounts created are named Sumo BR logs with a unique suffix attached. If the task consumer function is unable to process or send a message due to throttling or failure, Upon reaching a max delivery count threshold of 3, it sends the message to a secondary subqueue, called a dead letter queue, or DLQ. Another Azure function named DLQ Task Consumer is triggered every 5 minutes by a timer to retry sending the messages. Sumo Logic provides an ARM template to build most of the components in the Azure to Sumo pipeline. The template will create an event hub to which Azure Event Grid routes create block blob events, a service bus for storing tasks, three Azure functions, task producer, task consumer, and DLQ task consumer that are responsible for sending monitoring data to Sumo, and a storage account to which the Azure functions write their log messages about successful and failed transmissions. To use the Sumo provided ARM template, download the template, the URL to download the template is provided in the description section of this video. Upload the template to the Azure portal. Next, set the parameters that identify the URL of your Sumo HTTP source, as well as the storage account name, storage account resource group name, and a storage account region where we want to collect the logs. Then deploy the template. 
Use the ARM template with your Azure Block Blob account to configure and send the monitoring data to Sumo easily. To learn how to configure and send the Azure data to Sumo, please watch our how-to video entitled Azure Block Blob Storage Collection. Here are some sample performance results of collection through Azure Block Blob Storage, although note that actual performance will vary based on network conditions. These results were compiled using 100 files of 100 megabytes each. The file creation time in a single storage account was around 3 minutes. The average Sumo Logic ingestion rate was around 40 megabytes per second, with the maximum ingestion rate reaching up to 190 megabytes per second. The maximum incoming messages rate was about 400,000 log lines per second. The total time taken for full ingestion was a little less than 4 minutes. A total of 9.3 gigabytes of data was ingested, with a log count of about 20.6 million. In this video, we've learned about the Azure to Sumo event-based pipeline for shipping logs from Azure Block Blob Storage to an HTTP source on a hosted collector in Sumo Logic. We've also learned about Sumo Logic's Azure Resource Management, or ARM, template that is used to build most of the components in the pipeline. We hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.